Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Horde Every Night Ramblin' Man. It is the morning of day two. Let me grab the wood frame here and our torch off the wall and let's get a move on. First thing I want to do is go see the trader. I've got some things in inventory that I want to sell. And I also want to try and craft a couple of these cargo storage pocket mods. Uh, to do that, we're going to need four sewing kits, which we have. I'll need 60 pieces of cloth, four things of duct tape, and eight pieces of leather. Now I've got six pieces of cloth on me and we can get the rest that we'll need on the way to the trader by picking up uh, cotton it's one to one so basically we need to get 54 pieces of cotton i'm going to try and get a little more than that though because if i can find duct tape today not only do i want to craft these cargo storage pocket mods but i'd also like to try and craft some cloth armor which to do that all we need is cloth and duct tape which I sold a couple of things of duct tape to the trader yesterday like an idiot, so I'm sure he'll still have those in inventory. Whether he has any more than that, I don't know. But if he has glue, we can buy glue and use glue and cloth to make more duct tape. So we'll just have to see how that goes. And also, don't mind my voice. I'm just getting over a head cold, so it's probably a bit more raspy than usual. We can break up this tire and these boxes for more plastic parts to sell. And we might as well. We got time to kill before the trader opens. We'll get a little bit of paper also from these boxes, but paper doesn't sell well in small quantities. We need a lot of it to make any decent coin, which if we can find a paper mill, we can get a lot of it there. In the last episode, some people were asking why I was breaking up the bird nests, and it's because sometimes you can get a couple of extra feathers by doing that, and right now, the more feathers we can find and the more arrows we can make, the better. There we go, look at that timing. Let's go see this dude. Hopefully, he's got what we need to make these cargo pockets. You get two slots of inventory for each pocket, so that's four additional slots right there. That will do us well. Let's see what you got, buddy. Actually, let me sell you this shit first here. There we go. And the paper. And that's it. So, okay. What do you have? He's got ammo, but I'm not buying it yet. We can deal with these first few hordes with arrows. I might as well buy the eight leather. I know leather's easy to find, but fuck it. We'll just buy whatever we need. Now, do you got any duct tape? Yeah, here's the two pieces that I sold them yesterday. I guess I'll buy them back like the sucker I am. And we'll buy this thing of glue. We can turn that into duct tape. I think that's it. Let's check his secret stash. Much Nothing. Lied, stranger. All right, let's uh, check his jobs, too, while we're here. We gotta clear zombies. That's real close. Let's do that. I have a you the man. Cool. Now we can go get XP from killing a bunch of zombies, loot a POI, and complete a challenge all at the same time. I'm gonna throw my lead in the forge along with a little bit of iron. We'll get this stuff smelting down. Now, in the last episode, some people were saying that using a forge is storage, but it's not. It's output. You smelt things down. You craft things out, and it's output. That's all. If I was to put things into the output section like this and then walk away, that would be considered storage, I guess, but I'm not going to do that. Same thing goes for the workbench, the chem station, or the mixer. Let's turn this glue into duct tape. Now we just need one more piece of duct tape. We might as well plant these seeds, right? We'll plant them right out here by the trader because we come back here often, so we can chop these down when they get nice and big. All right, this is the building we need to clear out. Let's go ahead and eat something first, get our stamina up to full. That's our last can of food. We do have a jar of honey and some eggs, though, if we get hungry. Now, I know that I can loot this place and then activate the quest and all of the stuff will reset and I can loot it again, but I'm not into doing shit like that. I'm going to go ahead and mark this mixer on the map since it is a working mixer. This way, if we need to use one, we know there's one right here. And I want to break up some of those stone pallets. Let's loot this shit first. Take that. 
Nothing. Okay, let's get some stone, and I'm gonna leave the cement pallets alone. If we come back here to use the mixer to make concrete, at that point, I'll dig up the cement. I am gonna dig up the cobblestone today, though, because I might need to use that tonight to fortify. Got a zombie beating on the fence. Let's go take care of him. We gotta be careful, though. We can't venture off too far from the POI. You see the check mark just went yellow? If we walk away too far, we'll, uh, it'll cancel the quest. And I don't know if that will, if it will cancel it for good. And we'll have to go get a new one, or, or we just have to reactivate it. I don't know. I don't want to take that chance, though. Let's get back in here. Alright. Uh, I got the floating car right here. From Back to the Future. That's pretty cool. Let's get in here. Wake up all the fucking zombies. Get them killed, and then we'll loot this place and head back to the trader. You could, uh, search this trash real quick. I also want to try breaking up this carpet. Someone said in the Apocalypse series that you can get a bunch of resources from doing that. Ah, uh, here we go. Uh, and I swear I've tried that before and only got a couple of pieces of wood from it, but... Who knows? Maybe it's changed since, or maybe it used to be you get a lot of resources and now you only get a couple of pieces of wood. But either way, we'll try it and see what happens. My god, these construction zombies are tough as shit. You would think I was playing on insane right now. Chill, dude. Damn, that still didn't kill him. I mean, we're only on warrior difficulty, too. Come on. There we go. Shit. They've got to have just as many hit points as the biker zombies. I know there's a mod you can use that shows the health bar for the zombies, but fuck that shit. That's like cheating. You know, it takes away the fun, in my opinion. I like not knowing when they're gonna die. Here's some more rolled up carpet. We'll try that to see if that's any different from the carpet that's uh, in the, the room when we first came in. Haven't tried that yet either. Just trying to deal with these zombies first. Okay, let's bring her outside. No sense in fighting in that little ass room up there. Pretty sure we woke up the zombies on the first floor also. I think they're trying to break out of the building. Come on, where is she at? Oh great, here comes uh, two more construction zombies. Fun times. Oh, we got a crawler out here too. We just need to be mindful of him. Be trying to bite our ankles and shit while we're fighting these other zombies. So we got uh, two construction zombies, or three construction zombies, Mo and the crawler. And then I'm sure there are going to be more zombies down in the basement. That's where the main loot is for this place. Good lord, this primitive bow sucks ass, doesn't it? Holy shit, the primitive bow and stone arrows are is just like... I might as well be throwing fucking rocks at them. Ooh, we got a loot bag. Take that shit. Alright, one more construction zombie and the crawler. And we're done here. Well, we're not done. We can actually go inside and start looting at that point. Until we hit the basement, because I'm pretty sure, like I said, there'll be some more zombies down there. Ooh, there we go. Food and a bunch of cash that we can sell. Only thing that kind of sucks about the food is that it's all different, so it just takes up a bunch of slots in our inventory. But you can't complain about food, especially canned food, because it has zero chance of food poisoning. Start back up here. Work our way down to the basement. Let's try this carpet right here. One thing of wood. Yeah, see? Two. Two things of wood. Just to prove it wasn't a fluke, we'll try this piece here. Yeah, we're not getting shit, dude. Alright, let's go in this room. Right here, is there anything in here? Uh, there's a plug in the wall. Let's check that out. Ammo pile. Okay. Extended mag and uh, some iron arrows. We'll switch over to those. Check this garbage and this backpack. Ooh, a machete schematic. I don't know about that. Do we read that or do we sell it? That's a good question right there. Let's dig up this cobblestone and then there should be a crate up in the ceiling in this room also. All 
Oh, nice. Junkie back in action. Plus a level one crossbow, some crossbow ammo, and uh, sledgehammer parts that we can sell. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the crossbow, but let's bring it down to our tool belt. We'll mess around with it. I just don't like how long it takes to reload and how slow you move while reloading. Yeah, nothing from that carpet either. Just a couple of pieces of wood. Alright, on to the first floor. I'm pretty sure we're clear down here. Got a bunch of cobblestone we can dig up. We got a kitchen we have to loot, and then we can proceed down to the basement. Damn, went from having no food to a bunch of it. Let's go ahead and eat some now. Even though our stamina is maxed out, you can overeat a little bit, which basically just prevents it from depleting as quickly. Alright, here's the main loot, and I know we got zombies behind these uh, walls here. Let's repair our axe and break through one of them. Here we go. We'll use the crossbow. Wake up, motherfucker. Killing time. Bring out your friends. Here we go. Couple more waking up. Uh, let's make our way up the stairs. Yeah, this crossbow makes us way too slow. Okay. I feel like that was way harder than it needed to be. We're done, though. The area is clear. We can return to the trader to get our reward, but first, let's get back down to that main loot area. We're pretty encumbered, but let's just see what we got down there. And, uh, yeah, I think we need to put a couple of points into archery, especially if that's going to be our main weapon. And we need to try and get our hands on a wooden bow or a compound bow as quick as possible. Wow. Well, we need to make room for all this shit. Because this, all this stuff sells better than a lot of the stuff I have on me. Well, I can make arrows. That'll get the feathers out of our inventory. And I can put the extended magazine modifier on Junkie. That'll get that out of the inventory. And what else? I guess I can scrap those bars. We'll take the handgun parts, and I want the shotgun ammo. I guess I can get rid of that faucet. Actually, the faucet sells more than the trophy. There we go. Uh, vitamin. You know what? I'll just read the machete schematic. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to try and get one of those crafted anyway. And this chest is locked, and it has 7,000 hit points. So, until we can find either a really good... Steel pickaxe or some lock picks, we're going to have to let that be. Alright, uh, these steel tool parts sell for a lot. So let's get rid of the cloth and take those. And then we can get rid of um, this paper for the anvil. Alright, that was a pretty good raid. We have a completely full inventory with a whole bunch of stuff that sells for a good amount of coin. So let's get back to the trader, sell that shit, see what our reward is for completing this quest. And then we can either hold down that building tonight, or I think we have enough time to go raid another building. And uh, as granted, it's not a very large building, but we can go find another home and uh, clear it out, loot it, and hold down the horde there. Because being we're such a low level right now, it's not that difficult to clear out a house, even if it is a dungeon-style POI. Oh, whoops, I left the door open. I guess I was raised in a barn. Sorry about that, dude. Hopefully no zombies got in and ate you. Doesn't look like it. Let's go talk to this guy. See what our reward is. I was thinking about selling the crossbow, Anything too, but I might hold on to it for now. It must be my lucky day. Okay, a stun baton or iron boots. I'm thinking we take the iron boots. Let's do that. 
Because we can add stuff like modifiers to the armor. So let's put those on, get rid of the grass fiber shoes. Let's talk to this guy again. Got a bunch of stuff to sell you, buddy. Uh, I, I'd almost hate to sell the acid right now because we're going to need that to craft tires for the bicycle. Which, I have this point. Let's go ahead and unlock the bicycle. As much as I would love to put it into Lucky Looter, I'm going to go ahead and just unlock the bike. Even though... What do we need to make the handlebars? Duct tape, leather, mechanical part, pipe spring. Okay, I could scrounge that stuff up relatively quickly. The problem is, we need a workbench to craft the bicycle, and we haven't found one of those yet. So, fuck it, I'll just sell the acid for now. We gotta keep an eye out for a workbench. Well, his closest job is buried supplies. I've got a job. Let's just take it. Oh, we found decent much. stuff in the last supplies we while. dug up, and it's real close. We're not gonna do that now. That's something we'll uh, go after tomorrow, maybe. All right, well, we got plenty of time, so let's go right into town here. There's a few homes along the uh, first road you hit. There's actually a house right across the street from the uh, mobile home we held down last night. Let's just go there. I can see it from here. We'll raid that place, and that's where we'll hold down the horde tonight. I'm going to go ahead and make as much junk turret ammo as I can with the iron we have, because we're definitely going to make use of junky tonight. And also, real quick... I wanted to mention this earlier in the video and forgot. What the fuck is up with Neebs Gaming and a bunch of other big gamers getting hacked by cryptocurrency companies? What is going on with that shit? It's scary, dude. I mean, I know Neebs is in contact with YouTube already, but at this point, it's like a waiting game. You know, they're at the mercy of YouTube, and that sucks big time. I checked their channel out. I keep checking it out every day, and... If you go to their playlists, there are videos in their playlists. So I think whoever hacked their channel just made their videos private. I don't think they were deleted. So that's good. You know, once Neebs regains control, if they can just go in there and make all their videos public again, and then just pick up right where they left off, that will be fucking awesome for them. So I hope that's the case, and I wish them the best. Because what a shitty situation to be in. I've been watching Neebs since back before I even started my channel. What is this book? Let's check it out. Do 10% more damage to humans. Well, not going to need that in single player, so we'll sell that to the trader. But yeah, I think they've lost like 30,000 subscribers since this all happened. But I'm sure that's because whoever hacked their channel put up some old live stream from the company Coinbase. Now... That's what their channel looks like. It looks like the company Coinbase, but we're not sure yet if it actually was Coinbase that hacked their channel. Could just be some random hacker that decided to fuck with both parties, you know, and just made it look like Coinbase. Who knows? Could be someone that has a stake in the company Coinbase and wanted to draw attention to the company. Who knows, right? Point is, they had 2 million subscribers. Not all of them are probably on Twitter, you know? So it was probably a situation where someone opened up YouTube, was scrolling through, saw a live stream from the company Coinbase, and was like, what the fuck? I'm not subscribed to them and unsubscribed, not knowing that they just unsubscribed from Neebs Gaming. So it's a shitty situation. I'm sure they'll get all those subs back plus more once they get their channel back, but it just sucks. So I wish them the best. And everyone else, too, that is dealing with this bullshit. It sucks. If you're a YouTuber, I highly suggest implementing the two-step verification process. That's what I did. Actually, the first thing I did was change my password to something really cryptic. And then I implemented the two-step verification process. And what that is, is once you uh, put in your password, then a confirmation code or whatever is sent to your phone. And then you have to put that in in order to access your channel. So even if someone does hack your password, they can't get into your channel without access to your phone. So, again, if you're a YouTuber, definitely suggest doing that to protect yourself. Got another book here. Let's check that out. Uh, headshots have chance to stun and a greater chance to dismember. Okay, read that. We're running out of inventory space here. 
Now, if we can't grab all of the main loot because our inventory is full, we can always make another trader run in the morning and then come back for it. I'll have to do some serious inventory management. We're going to put the BDU pants on and get rid of these plant fiber pants. It's a shame we haven't found duct tape yet. Make those fucking cargo mods, or cargo pocket mods. Wake up. Oh, she's pissed. Get down the steps. Ooh. The crossbow can be kind of a beast, but I probably should have just sold it when we were at the trader. You know, we could make another trader run before the horde shows up tonight. I think we might have to. Because we are pretty much out of space. So maybe if we just push through the rest of the POI and kind of clear it out, then we can uh, run to the trader real quick, unload, get back here, grab the main loot, and fight the horde. That sounds like a good plan. Scrap that. I'm not going to take the gunpowder. Two pieces of gunpowder? What does this do here? Gives us a whole bunch of increased stats, except for water. Decreases our hydration. And it sells for 55 coin. I'll just take it for now. The gunpowder doesn't sell, so I'm just going to leave it. All right, looks like we got to go out this hole in the wall. Right? Yeah. It's a bird. Fuck you, bird. Oh, it fell down. If we remember, we'll harvest that later. Got a hooded zombie waking up right here. See the only one in there? It looks like it. Oh, all right, let's go back this way. See if we can get him to fall off the roof. Oh, shit. That's not good. Shot him between the legs. Uh, all right, let's get back in here. Maybe he'll get stuck. Yeah, looks like he'll get stuck right there. Oh, he fell down. Perfect. We could actually stab him at this point. We should probably head to the trader right now, but... I kind of want to at least make sure this place is cleared of zombies. Yeah, I can't even take that. Oh, I can scrap the chair and take that. That's a semi-automatic trigger mod. So I'm going to sell that to the trader too, because even if I find uh, an SMG or an AK, I'm not going to make it semi-auto. I'd rather just keep it full auto. Got a fire zombie up here. Let's wake him up. See if we can hit him again. Drop him. There we go. Okay. I'm going to assume that's it for uh, in terms of zombies. But let's just uh, make sure before we leave. Got an ammo pile right here. Ooh. Okay. Um, I'll take the shotgun ammo. And I'm going to eat this food. And this double storage pocket mod. Give me that thing. We can put on uh, armor that we have. Here's the main loot right here. Let's uh, Let's wait on that. We'll come back for it. We need to head to the trader. But that uh, double storage pocket mod we just picked up, we can put that on our gloves or our boots. And that will open up a couple of slots in inventory. And then shit, yeah, if we can, if we can craft a couple of those cargo storage pocket mods, which open up two slots per mod, and throw that on our pants and shirt, then uh, that'll open up four more spaces, and we'll almost have a full backpack. I'm going to go ahead and start knocking these steps out now. This way, when I get back, we're ready to go. All right, let's get to the trader before he closes, sell him everything we don't need, and hopefully get back here just in time for the horde. Man, what a fucking scramble this game mode is. If you look up scramble in the dictionary, it should just say, horde every night, rambling man. All right, here we go. We're still encumbered, but that helped a little bit. At least now we can go after the main loot. And we got some space. Let's get up here into position. Pick up these frames. And you know what? Let's 
knock out another set of these steps. Put the torch on the wall here. This way I have a place to put down Junky. Oh, we've got some food over here. Missed that earlier. Nice, take that. Let's get around here to, uh, main loot. We're gonna eat some food. Make sure we're nice and full. Let's drink a bottle of water too, why not? Alright, that chest is unlocked. Nice, take all of that stuff. Stick of dynamite, I don't think we'll have to use that tonight. Alright, take that stuff too. Let me see, my level 2 stone spear. It actually does a little bit more damage than the level 1 iron spear. Well, the power attack is better with the iron spear, but I think I'm just going to scrap both of those weapons. And uh, the spear will give us iron. The stun baton, we can sell the parts. Those two crates, we'll deal with those uh, later on after we're done with the horde. All right, here we go. Horde number two. Now, I'm pretty sure there isn't another way for them to get up to the second floor. I'm going to put a frame right here, though. And, uh, maybe I'll put another one down there. Let's see what happens. Because I hear them beating on something. My worry is that if they don't see a way to get to me, they'll just beat on the building all night. And, uh, I'd like to kill them if I can. There's no way they can get up here, right? I don't think so. I'm going to close these doors just in case. This way we'll have a little bit of a warning. Let's put another frame down. See if that'll convince them to come this way. Well, haven't seen any zombies yet. They're beating on something even though there's a clear path into the house. I'm going to put frames in front of these doorways just in case they happen to get up here. You know? If they do and they come to these doors, then we can just open the doors and kill them right here. Because what the fuck are they doing? There is a clear path into this house. I've got frames right here as a way to get up to me. And still, nothing yet. Oh, here comes Big Mama. Oh, she's jumping up the frames. We'll pick that one up. Why isn't Junkie going off? Oh, I forgot to load him. What an idiot. Here we go. That was a missed opportunity. Let's get him back down. Come on. There we go. Get her, Junkie. What are you doing? All right. I guess I will. All right, here she comes. There we go. Now Junkie's firing at her. Beautiful. Even still, Big Mama's the only zombie I've seen. Oh, sh there we go. She almost got up here. Oh, finally, another zombie. Chill, Mo. Oh, a couple of them. I picked that one frame up this way. They can't get up here. Maybe I should put it back, though. Right, here we go. There's Big Mama. She was stuck down there. All right, she's dead. There's one kill. I have no idea how many zombies are down there. I'm going to put this frame back as a way to get up to me. Here we go. If it's just one zombie at a time, between Junkie and I, we can stop them from getting up here. Uh, or not. Oh, shit. Get down there, fucker. Junkie, you gotta shoot faster than that. There we go, another one dead. Still hear a bunch more beating on something though. Let's put this frame back in, see if that will attract them over here. Here we go. That pulled the frame right out from under her. Where'd you go? Come on, poke your head back out. What if we pick up Junkie and put him down like right there? If we turn him a little... Oh, shit. This is not good. I can't see anything. All right. I see the outside. Let's head that way. Oh, it's nice and bright out here. We'll put Junkie down. Oh, shit. Oh, she died right away. Beautiful. Oh, there are more in there. I don't know how many more. I guess we'll just stand out here and wait. Our back is clear, so that's good. Maybe we should back up a little bit more. I could 
make like a quick makeshift base with a couple of frames. Upgrade this to uh, cobblestone. Here we go. Do that again. Come on. And if I really want to be safe, I can go up another block. Let's do that. All right. Let's upgrade this one just to the wood. That's good. Now we wait. Well, I can see two of them. One of them is breaking through the house, and the other one is in this window here. Oh. And I can hit him from here, so... Might as well. Ah, oh, he broke out. Here we go. Get him, Junkie. I probably should have faced Junkie towards the pillar that I'm standing on. Because then he would be shooting Mo right now instead of just sitting there doing nothing, but... I didn't think of it. And there goes Junkie. Here we go. Alright, this has got to be the last zombie. Man, what a shit horde night, huh? We definitely need to leave ourselves more time to prepare in the next episode. Because uh, this episode was just a constant scramble, I feel like. I mean, that's what every episode is going to be like moving forward. We haven't even found a gun yet. Uh, I can't see shit. All right. Here we go. Let's get up here. Just so we know we're safe, and because we need to get to that main loot anyway. We still got a couple of crates to search. What a mess, though. Yeah, we definitely need to um, plan a little bit better tomorrow night. We need to leave ourselves enough time to plan a little bit better tomorrow night. So what I'm thinking is we do the trader first thing again. And then we do the buried supplies, which is right by the trader. And then we'll have to go back to the trader again. We could do the buried supplies first, but if we don't have enough space in our inventory to carry all the shit in the supplies, then uh, that would suck. So yeah, we do the trader, the buried supplies, back to the trader, and then from there, we go find a house to clear and loot, and we just immediately start preparing for the horde at that point. Um, if I break this, do what the... Yeah, that does go into my inventory. Now we've got two torches. All right, let's grab this one too then. Bam. Cool. Ah, uh, chainsaw. I'll scrap the nails. I'll take the chainsaw and the mechanical parts. It probably makes more sense to scrap that chainsaw and sell the parts to the trader. Just as you would, you know, certain weapons. I know I goofed and I sold the stun baton to the trader in episode one. But what are you going to do? I'm going to miss some shit occasionally. It's just the way it goes. Fucking potato. Alright. I think we're pretty much done here. I mean, we could give this house another once over. And make sure we got everything before the morning time, you know? Because once morning hits, we're out of here. Alright, I'm gonna put this pocket mod on the leather gloves and wear those. Because they're just as good as the scrap gloves, except they're light armor, so they won't slow me down as much. And we'll just sell the scrap gloves. Because, yeah, I mean, they scrap to iron, but we can get 47 coin for it. Could get more if I use one of the repair kits on them, but I don't know if I want to do that yet. Oh, shit, you know what I forgot to do? Mark the POIs. So this is the POI we held down in episode one. The mobile home. So we'll mark that with an X. And just write used. There we go. And we'll mark this POI with an X as well. And put used. This way we know we can't use these POIs anymore for the remainder of the series. Guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you're enjoying this series so far. Thank you so much for watching and all the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Horde Every Night Ramblin' Man. And I will catch you guys in the next episode.